Hello ladies and gents, and welcome to Game Dev Ty Tycoon. This is a game that came out not too long ago, but a pretty long time ago, if that makes sense. It is pretty, basically sort of like a usual tycoon game where you start on the very low, uh, I guess the bottom of your, of whatever the tycoon is, like Roller Coaster Tycoon is basically you're you're at the bottom of like the how you say not roller coaster uh, the amusement park uh, track but in this one you're a game developer and you're and basically we're trying to hit big we're trying to get some big bucks and this game is awesome uh, there's a cool feature in here that if you pirate the game which I did not um, it will say um, the games you make in this game will actually be pri pirated, which is amazingly awesome. So yeah, let's get started. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, and gain fans and become the leader of the market. Okay, let's do this. I've played this before. Uh, I'm I haven't recorded it yet, so this is gonna gonna be a very fun time. Uh, I will keep the episodes around 15 minutes or so. Uh, I'll try and keep it. I'll try 10 to 10 to 15, so you guys won't be here just like, oh my goodness, hurry up already. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, before before you can start your adventure, you have to give your company a name. Uh, let's go, hmm, hmm, how, what, what should we call it? How about, Nurskia, get it? Like, EA, but Nurskia, okay, ne never mind. Uh, let's call it Nurskington, Nursking. Nursking ten or nurse nurse okay no let's not use my name uh we'll call it all right there you go pepperoni pepperoni games that sounds awesome all right obviously nurse uh dude nah I'm a chick I mean what no dude. Uh, ooh, look at blonde hair. Ginger, uh, not ginger. Let's, uh, go with, uh, blondie. There you go. And, oh, let's get a nice green shirt right there. And let's go! Let's get started! Unlock hints. Since you've played the game before, you can choose to use all previously gained hints in this game. Will you like to import all the previously gained hints into this game? Yes, I would. So, people, so you could read along. Tutorial. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape to access the main menu. Alright. Yay! Congratulations! We started very... Okay, okay. We've... I... You know. Okay. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere. Okay. So, let's create our first game. Develop new game. Okay, so we we decide we have to decide <coughs> what kind what kind of game and give your game a name. All right, so obviously it has to be something with pizza, so anchovies. I hate anchovies, but is that how you, or is it just anchovies? Ah, whatever. One anchovies one. Uh, we'll do a military game, yes, and pick genre, hmm, let's do a s an adventure, that sounds awesome, and we'll obviously do it on, so the market share right now, it's pretty high, so that means there will be more sales, but the dev cost is 20k, and we only got 70k right now, oh well, let's just keep, let's just, let's do the G64. And next, so should we do a 2D graphics version, we'll, we'll, which will cost uh, more, or should we just do text-based? Let's go. Let's do graphics. You know, we're 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 gonna start. We're gonna start big. We're gonna start on the market. 
Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can design you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of your for your game greatly increases the points you generate. <coughs> Sorry, uh, if you heard me cough, it's because my throat was sore earlier. It's it's much better now, but it, it, if, if I cough from time to time, my apologies. Uh, but let's just keep going. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. No. While generating game reports, you start to gain... In okay, that's enough reading. You uh, Pause the video and just read it. Okay, okay, you got it, you got it, and pause if you won't need to, okay. Alright, so let's start our development. Uh, I want to do more stories and quests, and keep, uh, actually, I'm going to put the gameplay down a bit. I don't want to put more on the engine of it and stories and quests, there you go. Okay. I want to, I want, I want the player to really get intertwined with the story. Game development has now started. Okay, 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 yes. Maybe I should have turned off the tutorial stuff. Alright, so this is what happens. We'll encounter bugs, and we'll get, like, points and stuff. It's pretty fun. Uh, turn the dialogue down. We don't need talking. We need to see some awesome action and cool AI. Oh, man. Dialogue would have been smart for AI. Ah, poop. Oh, well. Alright, so during development, yes, pause. <laughs> if you want to. You will also see the okay, well, I just wanted I just want to read. Maybe I should read. Uh put the sound up, put the world up, put the graphics a little bit up. I should put the sound down a bit. Put this up more. There you go. Okay. And we're almost done here. If you buy this game, uh but like which you should buy this game like if you have money or you know if you if you think this looks if you think this game looks interesting i'm not saying like buy it because i told you to buy it if you want this game is it, this game is it's really fun it like i haven't played it in a while but it's just it, it's still fun right now so there's one thing that occurs if you get bugs um, make sure that you click finish as soon as it says zero. You'll get, like, you'll get two or three bugs on your first, if you get two, if you get bugs on your games at all, uh, and you still have bugs once, once you, uh, once you're able to click finish, do not click finish until, um, the bugs get, go away, I guess? They, they disappear, so, you just gotta wait a bit and then, see, I have no more bugs, so I click finish. Alright, while developing game, okay. <laughs> can edit the name I'm not gonna edit the name so those are all my stuff new topic new combo all right release game oh let's see how let's see how well it do let's 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 read the reviews <gasps> okay you guys ready let's check the review for anchovies one solid five from star games oh no oh a three by informed gamer we, we we need this fourth one to pick up a bit no so anchovies was not a success that's a shame oh man all right okay unless okay I'll invest a little bit Get, to generate a game report close this message all right so pepperoni games okay this is just news uh, the game is a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious. Uh, okay. So, let's see the sales. Let's see how well they do. How many units? 2.7... Okay, what, 2,000? It's almost 2.7. Oh, well. Close enough. Anchovies 1 sold 2.699 units in its first week on the market. Sweet. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income of from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph on the top right of the screen. So, time goes by really fast. If you can see in the top corner, those like little dots, that's basically it's like uh, like it's like 6 seconds, 8 seconds maybe, like 2 seconds for every dot. That's one week, I I assume. Yeah, that's one week. So, we're we're making we're making some money. 
Uh, let's make let's generate a game report. Select. Uh, let's see let's see what we should improve on uh, in the next game because I'm probably gonna do the same sort of thing for uh, the next game, but not call it anchovies anchovies too. So if you generate a game report, basically it shows it shows like um, what you should improve on. So military adventure terrible combination. I'll remember that. Dialogue, dialogue seem to be very important. Yeah. So I guess if you if you want to give a lot of AI, you should put up the dialogue. So that's what basically game reports tell you to do. Yeah. See, great way to gain more research points and new insights. Okay. All right. Oh wow. It our the sales like went up last week. That's awesome. Game two. Let's call it. Uh, pepperoni punch. Ah, it's a oh puncher. There you go. Uh, uh, prison. All right, let's go. We'll do an action, and of course the G sixty four. We have enough money. Next, uh, yes, start development. Pepperoni puncher. Recent market studies suggest that the Go Govador's G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over the over the other over other home computers. Man, I cannot read. Alright, so experts say this might spell the end of the competing hardware manufacturers. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna let's let's see how this game goes. Uh we're gonna put down on the uh, stories and quests, put more on the gameplay more on the engine because this is, this is gonna be action we just want explosion that's all we want we don't want we don't want no stories we don't want no love loving scenes no heck no we wow we made 62,000 that is a lot I'm just saying all right so once we finish this game I will end the first episode here uh yeah all right, so dialogue, uh, put it up a bit. AI up a bit more. Let's, uh, there you go. Just like put it up it, inch by inch. All right, so we're uh, almost halfway there. I got a few bugs, but I will be able to get rid of them. So uh, sound, put sound up there. Graphic, uh, world design, eh, not that much. I, I, don't, I don't think we need that much, you know? I, I'm I'm picturing like a simple like doom sort of thing. Actually, yeah, okay, maybe up a bit. Sound, turn that down. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Uh oh, it seems that we're lose. <laughs> we're in the negative uh, negative money range. All right, so let's just wait for these bugs. Okay, according to the rumors of the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the wildly success arcade game Dinky King. If you guys um, don't understand that reference, I'm sorry for you, but it's Nintendo and Donkey Kong. Just thought you should know, okay? All right, anyways. Okay, death of the home gaming consoles will take off, but we're eager to see what Ninvento, Ninvento will deliver. All right. So let's get rid of these bugs, get some more design points. Let's see, let's just wait a little bit more, see if we get anything. Uh oh, okay. So if we, if, uh, if your money, I guess, goes to 50k, uh, negative 50k, then you will experience some sad, sad problems. Alright, so let's just finish this. Let's see, let's see how well we do. New record for both. Alright, so let's see. Oh wow, we're 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 leveling up. We're gonna we're we're almost gonna get to level two on this. Oh, here we go. First reviews. Pepperoni Puncher. Alright, that's oh there you go. That's good. That's good. Three. Nope. Yes, five. Alright. This is the harshest of the of the of the four. All right, n not bad. Better than better than uh, anchovies, that's for sure. Let's see the sales. Ooh, 2.3. That that wasn't I wasn't. Oh, and there you go. We just sold more than the first week. There you go. There's the nin there's a TES. 
Man, that's awesome. The the people who created this game are just they're just they're geniuses in a way. They're just awesome. They're really funny. All right, so wow, the the sales really dropped. Like sort of evened out. All right, let's wait for this. Let's see the sales of this, and I will end the episode here. Let's just let's just bask in its glory. Let's also generate a game report while we're at it. Pepperoni Puncher. It was a 4.25 out of 10. That's kind of it's kind of bad. I don't know. We'll we'll see, we'll see where it takes off. More sales again. It like it, it, it there's like a trend. It goes down a bit and then goes right back up. And our post release. Okay, prison prison in action. Great combination. Engine seems to be very important. All right. And same with ah uh, level design. Darn. I ah uh, shoot. I I knew I should have focused on level design more, but all right. So we're at 32.7k. It sold 9,530 copies and 66.7k. I think that was a good job. I, I don't know about you guys. If you, if you guys, I think that was a good job. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I will be posting these videos a lot. The, this game is it's fun. It's really fun, especially if I'm playing it not just by myself, but when I'm talking to you guys. You guys are my inspiration. So I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, this is Nursky signing. Wow. Okay. New the TES has been released. Uh, this is Nursky signing out. <laughs>